Hello and welcome to a new video and in this week's video we're gonna go back to the RS Alpha app especially the use of smartwatch features. So this will be the third video in the RS Alpha app series and for the people that don't know the RS Alpha app it's a tracker app that can be used uh, during airsoft games. If you want to see an interview video I made one uh, you can find it in the link above and I wasn't really a fan of tracker apps but RS Alpha showed me that you can use it in an easy and simple way during those games and it's also it's a free app and they have a lot of cool features. Now in the first video that I made I just went over the intro, uh, went over the app how it looks like and what you can do with it and in the second video I did an uh, overview of the quick game. So in the third video I'm going to talk about uh, smartwatches and how you can use it and why you can use them. Now I'll split this video up in a few parts. I will start off with showing you why it can be handy to have this thing on your wrist while playing airsoft uh, and the next part I will go over uh, which watches and, and smart bands that you can use. I will go over the process of setting it up and I will give you a small demonstration on how to use it during a game. Now let's start off why it can be handy to have one of those watches while playing with the RS Alpha app. Now in most cases you will have the app running in the background while you play with the RS Alpha app. So your phone will be in your backpack or your pants. Uh, you will not have a fast access to it. But sometimes your command wants to send some data to you and if you don't want to check every five minutes to your phone if somebody sends you uh, some data that you have to do, you can just uh, let it come up on your smartwatch so you don't have to check your phone every five to ten minutes to see if you got a message. The second thing is when it's raining or it's snowing even, uh, you don't want to take out your phone, you want to do it in a drier environment if you don't have a protection case or something. Um, so now you can just get your notifications on there and you can see that if you have a order that you have to do and you can go to a dry or a safe place and check your phone uh, for that notification and even get in contact with your HQ. Now another thing is that usually your phone will be on silent so if you go crawling through the grass and you get notifications uh, it's not ideal if your phone is making noise now if your phone is on silent or vibrating you mostly don't feel the vibration so with the smartwatch you will get a vibration on your wrist and that's more uh, noticeable than your phone buzzing in your backpack and those are some of the points that I think it's really useful to have something on your wrist while playing airsoft but again try to protect the glass because BBs can shed the glass of your smartwatch now the next part we will go over what type of smartwatches that you can use and this is really simple. Almost every band or smartwatch that can get notifications from your phone from different apps you will be able to run the RS Alpha app uh, notification thingy and you will get notifications on your watch or band. I bought myself the Mi Band 5 uh, from Xiaomi. Xiaomi? Xiaomi? I don't know how to pronounce it the Mi Band 5. It was around 30 euros and it does what it has to do. It's basic but I get my notifications and I'm really happy with that. Now we got the more expensive ones and it will also work with those. And if you have the app running and you try it out with your smartwatch just post it in the comments so I can make a list in the description of all the smartwatches and uh, phones that it's working with so we can have a big list in the description. So in the next part I will show you how to set up your watch, your phone and your apps to get it working. Now it's an easy setup process but you just have to keep some things in mind while setting it up so you don't f*** it up. And as I said I'm using the Mi Band 5 and I'm using my Android phone. So the first step is uh, get your phone connected with your watch. To do that, you have to set up your Bluetooth. Let's go to uh, Bluetooth. I will enable Bluetooth. There we go. Now, if you enable your Bluetooth, my watch or band is not showing up in the Bluetooth list. I have no idea how that works, um, but I know it's somewhere connected to Bluetooth, but your Bluetooth has to be on. But yeah, it's not possible to connect it here. You have to do it in the app. So now your Bluetooth is on and uh, you have the ability to connect your watch. So that's the first step. Then you have to download the app that goes with your watch. Usually the bigger brands have their own app to connect your things with. This is a Mi Band and I'm using the Mi Fit app. Let's go. And if you open up the app, it will, uh, for me it's required for my app to get my location on. So I'm just getting my location on. There you go, it's syncing my data with my band and you can see that I have not done enough steps today. Okay, let's go to your profile and then your profile you can see my devices and you can see that my Mi Band 5 is connected. Now I can't connect a new one but I will show you the process and uh, the last thing that you have to do is connect it to it. So if you want to add a device you just choose the thing that you have. If it's a watch you can choose watch. If it's a band you choose your band. And if I click 
band um, do after repairing event yes agree I'll keep playing news and now it's searching for your band and if you have a new one on factory settings it will say that it has found your band I also tried uh, connecting the same band to different phones uh, that didn't work I think there is something in there that connects your phone and you have to get it back to reset and then you can um, take it to a new phone but if it's connected to one phone it will stay connected to that phone okay it's not finding anything that's normal now you have to give permissions to your phone to send notifications to your smartwatch or band click on your device and you have app alerts if you click on app alerts you have to enable app alerts got it now to get the notifications from the rs alpha app to the app to the band you have to add the applications to the uh to the app so let's do that i will manage my apps and i will search for rs alpha there it is i will click it and it's in the list and now you can get all the notifications that are coming in from rs alpha they will be forward to your band now i can go back and there is one last thing that i have to do i have to go to my settings and i will have to go to my notifications and i will have to give rs alpha app a permission to send notifications then i have to go to my rs alpha app and if you have a problem that it's not sending its notification i don't know if it's standard off or on depending on how you choose it but here you can change the uh thingy like button slider thingy to to on come on go to on so it has to be on to be able to send the notifications and that's it this is how you can get your notifications from the rs alpha app to the me fit app sending it to your me band now let's try this out i will set up a game i will have an, i will have a second phone that will be my commander now before i forget there is on my me band there is a icon that shows there is no bluetooth available uh, that one is gone now because it's connected to my phone this is something that you can check to see if your uh, me band is connected to your phone Let's get into the game. Uh, this phone will be my commander and this phone will be a platoon leader. This one is also, let's boot up the app. Let's boot up the app. Okay, it's running. Now let's see what we can do with it. Now to, first thing I have to go out of a game because I'm still in the game. Let's do this, yes, yes okay so now they're clean and um we will start up a new game to set up a game i will be using a commander and i will be using a platoon leader and i will be using the advanced game mode now i didn't make a video of that yet but i will be making that one uh later on because i want to test that in game now the setup is easy i will not go into detail uh, i will start with the commander but i first have to make uh start a new game new advanced game there you go i'm a game master now I will go to my hierarchy and I will make a commander, uh, add a commander, and I will join myself as a general. Yes, I am. And now I can invite other people. And now we can see I can invite a platoon leader. There you go. My QR code is ready. Now I will join the game with my platoon leader's phone. Okay, let's go. Let's scan it. There you go. Platoon Viroa test. Yes, let's do that. Okay, so now you see I am a platoon leader and I have a commander. Let's go back. And both are showing up on the map. And now I can give an order with my commander and my platoon leader will get that order. So I will just press it and I will say attack this area. And I will get a notification on my band. There it is. So and now I will give another command. I will just uh, do this, do an attack order. And you can see on my phone it's uh, going away and showing you attack order and it's going up on my smartwatch so now i got a vibration in my wrists and now i know i have to check my phone to see oh there is an attack order where do i have to go and this is basically how it works you get your notifications from your app and it's sending it to your wrist so you have a buffer that you don't have to check your phone constantly now it also gives you some time to check oh it's that or this order i can take my time to get in a safe spot and check my phone uh, in a few minutes now oh, and this is how you can set up and use your app together with your phone 
and your smartwatch. And I hope it was a bit clear. If you still have any questions, just drop me something in the comments and I will get up to that as fast as possible. And also don't forget to check out the RS Alpha app, Facebook and Instagram. They are making something for the community. It's free for everybody to use. And that's something that I can only support. And if you have any questions about the app, um, just post them in the comments and I will get to that as fast as possible. Also, don't forget if you tested it out with your smartwatch or phone, post it in the comments what combination that you used and if it worked for you so we can get that list going in the description. But for me, that's it for this video. Um, I hope that you enjoyed it and I hope I can see you again next week for a new video. Bye.